you think that data protection um, and data leak prevention will be able to keep up with the speed in which organizations are adhering to uh, new technology, therefore increasing the risk of data breaches with more data being vulnerable, generally speaking? What are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that, again, this the, the protection technology is, uh, is often one step behind. Mm. Um, vendors roll out new features all of the time. And I think I mentioned before that in a compliance setting, um, we have uh, companies who say like, oh, uh, such and such platform just rolled out a whiteboard or they just rolled out like right. w- literally one of them rolled out something called walkie talkie, which <laughs> is like instant communication. And so from the from the platform point of view, they're like, oh, look what a cool feature. Right. And from mm. even a user point of view, we might say, oh, that's great. Look, a walkie talkie. Look how cool that is. Well, the company is like, oh, my what walkie talkie like that's completely unmonitored conversation <laughs> like we can't have that like if we can't record that if we can't supervise that you have to turn it off you can't use that right and so sure. i think again the the platforms are becoming more aware that that depending on who they're selling to if they do not include capabilities that allow the firms to monitor that those conversations or at least record them and and, and have them for later um, many they will see diminished usage, right? But again, Absolutely. that's kind of that's kind of cool because if you can deploy new technology, then you become an enabler at your company instead of kind of the no person, right? The one who always says no, you can't do it. Now you can be the person who says yes, you can you can turn on all those features. Yes, the business can take advantage of all those new things because you know, my group has technology to make sure that we're doing all this in a way that is compliant and secure, right? Yeah, great. And it gates that whole argument against um, productivity versus security as well. So you get the guys and the girls in the office saying, well, hang on, we'll use uh, this messaging platform because it's just easy. You know, we get things done, it works, you know, and 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 that's why we choose it. And that's the natural thing to go to. So it's almost on the business's uh, side to really get some, you know, stringent security in place to, to be able to enable that, that productivity as best possible. So it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, great. So Dan, uh, next question, really about... Uh, about change it slightly a little bit about schools so do you think that uh, education uh, educating young people in schools about cyber security uh, would make us more or less secure for the next generation what are your thoughts around that yeah uh, so I, I think it's really a double-edged sword right it is generally in my opinion always better uh, to educate people about the risks associated with what they do when they are online i think Agreed. certainly uh you will there will be some uh, you will spawn some bad behavior from people um i think this the kind of the new generation has grown up with technology it's in their nature to ask how these things work to try to break them to see what happens if something um you know that isn't supposed to happen does right and so you probably will see you know i i, I don't know that there are many uh uh, seniors who are retiring and becoming hackers, probably. Um, but there are a lot of young people who, you know, have figured out how to do what they do. I think for me, the biggest thing I worry about is sort of a bit tangential, but it's more about privacy, right? I think that mm. um, the younger you are, the less you seem to care about privacy. Right. Now, maybe that's just coming from, you know, a stereotypical old guy who doesn't understand the the young generation. But I can tell you that People share things that I would never share, right? People say things, they do things online that, uh, you know, they just shouldn't, right? And it's it's not because it's embarrassing. It's because they're giving away too much information, right? They're showing what things that they shouldn't show. And so I think I would worry that if you have a cavalier attitude about privacy in your own life, then you could extend that to your business, right? And be a bit more cavalier about documents that you have that you leave around that are on your screen, et cetera. So my biggest worry is uh, not about sort of uh, having a new generation of hackers, but really having a new generation who kind of doesn't really think privacy is is an issue or it's a thing that they need to worry about. And mm-hmm. so, you know, in their personal life, they're doing whatever they want to do. And that might extend into the business life where they don't really take the proper care that they should for sensitive material that is really owned by the company. I completely agree. Yeah, I think uh, it's interesting because I was born in 84. So, um, you know, I'd be classified probably one of the geriatric millennials where I probably (laughs) bridge both sides, you know, the the modern and the latter. So I think I grew up not having, well, 
some of the early stages were not having the internet immediately available so yeah. having that feeling that you can always be monitored and and everything that you have is now you know available on the web is still quite hard to, to stomach sometimes for me for me um but you know you know my kids ages you know they're, they're much more a favor technology and i'm sure that uh, you're right they're probably used to having their 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 personal lives all over the web maybe not so that's not right. so fast you know so maybe that's a, that's a concern there so and i totally get that in fact just uh and we don't really plug any of the businesses on this uh, on the CISO talks but i just wanted to mention a big shout out to ian murphy at the cyber off so ian check him out on linkedin anyone who's interested he runs a, a cyber off it's um uh, educational um podcast around uh, educating um you know, individuals around cybersecurity and oversharing on the net, that kind of thing. I wouldn't say it was good for kids because it's more of adult related, but uh, I definitely recommend anyone with interest to check him out, Ian Murphy on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn. So, uh, yeah.